So this one's about 170 years old. That one's slightly younger, about 150 years old. Wow. Neil and his team are using the past to point them to the future. So you can get a 3D impression of how the geological features move as they go deeper underground. For the past seven years, they've been collecting and digitizing maps of disused tin and copper mines to help them find lithium. So we can model this in then a sort of 3D mapping software and we get a picture of exactly what's going on underground. When we're drilling for lithium and geothermal waters, it's much deeper than these mines ever went. But the fact that we know these geological structures existed and where they existed and more importantly, which direction they were going, that helps us pinpoint that depth where to drill the boreholes. How many maps have you acquired so far? Um, several thousand. Several thousand, going back to? To the mid 18th century, so about 1760 is about the earliest we've got. And you've even found them in people's attics? And yeah, these, so... both of these maps were in a private collection in, a, in an attic in someone's house. Lithium was first discovered in Cornwall in 1864, but back then, no one needed it. And it's mentions in the bottom right there that the hot water issuing in great quantities at these depths is rich in lithia. Oh. It was tested by a chap called Professor William Miller and he realised that the water has, has, lithium, has lithium in it. In it. Yeah. But of course didn't know what to do with it back yeah, then. But so I mean, no, one's, no one needs lithium. It's exactly. so useless. What's that going to be used for? Precisely. What would conditions have been like around here for the people working at those depths? So in this particular mine, it's very, very hot. So they would have been working really almost naked, just boots on. 40 degrees? Um, yeah, 40 to 50 degrees. As well as maps, the team have also gathered thousands of pictures. So there are, we've probably got something like 10,000 photographs in the collection here. This one would be around 1905, North Parbola mine. You've also got down here a couple of bow maidens. Now the bow maidens were the women that worked in the mine, but they would work at the surface taking the ore that had been crushed in the stamps and refining it further. There's miners at work, so, so rock drilling here. While the pictures tell the story of Cornwall's glorious mining history, the maps are helping write the next chapter. Paul Hawkins, CGTN, Cornwall.